Well, hello there and welcome to this time of prayer and reflection. I hope that wherever you are, you and your loved ones are well, and that this day will be a good day for you, for this day is the day that the Lord has given us. Our short reading today is taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 13, verses 45 to 46. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. Amen. Fiona and I took part in a fundraising car treasure hunt a number of years ago. We turned up at the start and were given a very sketchy map of the area a set of clues and an answer sheet to complete. We were told that there were six different routes, so no following the car in front. We set off and drove around Midlothian and parts of Edinburgh. Our journey had twists and turns and, on an occasion, we had to return to the previous clue to recheck the answer. It was only when we solved the last clue that our destination became clear. Carberry Towers beckoned with the prospect of a late summer evening barbecue. Needless to say, we didn't win any prizes. Oh, and the organiser helpfully provided a mobile number to call if anyone really got lost. So no one on the treasure hunt missed out on the barbecue. In our passage today, Jesus is describing what the kingdom of heaven, or the kingdom of God, is like. The merchant was a collector of fine pearls, and when he saw one that surpassed his wildest dreams and outshone every other peril in his collection, he sold everything he had and bought it. It was something he could not live without. What is your heart's desire? What do you treasure most in life? What is it that you would sacrifice everything else for? God's kingdom is the best of the best. Nothing on earth comes close. Jesus is describing the kingdom of heaven as something worth pursuing, worth striving for, worth more than your wildest dreams. His kingdom offers rest for the weary, peace beyond comprehension, unconditional love, blessings in abundance, meaning and purpose for our lives, and of course, eternal life with Jesus. It is freely offered to us and it is worth infinitely more than anything else we could possess. Oh, and just as our car treasure hunt had multiple routes, so there are many routes and opportunities to discover the way to heaven. It's good to know that Jesus is always there to guide us. Let's pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, who only has good plans for each and every one of us, we give you praise and thanks for the works of your hand, for creating heaven and earth, for sending Jesus into the world and leaving your spirit to help and guide us. We thank you that you did not want heaven without us, So Jesus came and engineered our salvation through the cross. And as you invite us to share heaven with you, we ask that you open our hearts and minds to the beauty and wonder of a life with you, both here on earth and in heaven. And now let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 